Hey everyone, Steve the Average Gamer, and yes, we are starting up a new series. I finally got some Origin games to work on my computer and with OBS. We're going to start playing Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars. If you don't know this game, this game came out about a half dozen years ago or so, and we'll be playing uh, CNC 3. We will not be playing CNC 4 on this channel because that is not a Command & Conquer game. Contrary to what anybody says, it's not Command & Conquer. CNC 3, though, is pretty kick-ass. And I'm going to turn the uh, audio down just a little bit as soon as I find... There's the audio tab. Keep the music tab down just a little bit. All right. We got the new settings set up. And I mentioned this... Oh, about sometime in 2016, mid-2016, I was finishing up the Empire at War series and wanted to do a new one. And the Command & Conquer franchise was very high on my list of things to get done. And when my capture card decided, I don't want to work anymore. Six months after I bought it, that was a hundred bucks down the toilet. Um, Hot Bog, I couldn't get them to, uh, to agree to replacing it, even though it was still under warranty. Had some downtime, ended up getting an Elgato HD60, which is what I'm using now. And of course, I run it all through OBS, but we are playing this one. This is one of the, uh, this will be taking over the Monday, Wednesday, Friday slot on the channel, at least for now. If I get some other series going, I'm going to start putting them um, in the mix as well. Star Realms for now going to be moving to Tuesdays and Thursdays until it is complete. But let's, uh, let's start, I'm not going to do the tutorial, I'm just going to jump into the GDI campaign, and I have Played it just a little bit to get myself familiar with the game again. So we're going to start a new campaign here. Philadelphia Uplink successful. Welcome back, Commander. Today's threat level is low. The state of the planet is deteriorating. Tiberium infestation has reached critical levels. Red zones have suffered the worst contamination and cannot support human life. There's the Amazon, the Australian Outback. Yellow zones are dangerously contaminated, but contain most of the world's population. Most of Africa, the United States, Europe. Decades of war and civil unrest have left these regions in a state of social collapse. The Brotherhood of Nod operates virtually unchallenged in these zones. They take advantage of the chaos to recruit members and disguise their military infrastructure. Nod's leader is a charismatic figure we know only as Cain. Cain is determined to accelerate the spread of Tiberium, believing it is the catalyst for the next stage of human evolution. However, in recent years, the Brotherhood has been suspiciously quiet, with little terrorist activity. The remainder of the Earth's surface is unscarred by Tiberium outbreak. These blue zones are considered the last refuge and hope of the civilized world, and are under the protection of the Global Defense Initiative. You have been assigned command of the GDI forces stationed on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Good luck, Commander. There's a lot of backstory in there, just uh, getting started. But we'll start with the prologue, naturally. Commander, General Jack Granger, good to have you on board. These, these are interesting times. I don't know if you know it, but InOps has downgraded Nod's threat level to low. With Kane apparently dead, Nod's been fractured by internal power struggles. Recruitment's down 25% and they've abandoned four bases in the last year. The prediction is another decade of peace. Me, I say it's the calm before the storm. 28 years of fighting out, there's one thing I can say with absolute certainty. As long as there's Tiberium on Earth, not as a serious threat. If our intel says otherwise, it's because Nod wants us to take them off our radar. That's why I want you to go to North Carolina. Zone security stop would look like a produce delivery truck yesterday, but it turned out to be a Nod vehicle. That was a school bus. Before it could be searched, the driver blew it up himself along with it. I want you to take some Probably troops down there, see what you can turn up. Hopefully I'm wrong and this is just a false alarm. But if I'm right, 
be prepared for the worst. This is Lieutenant Santa Telfair. She's from InOps. She'll give you all the details of the mission. Lieutenant. Thank you. Good afternoon, Commander. Glad to be of service. Here's what we know so far. After the delivery truck incident, we turned Sky Sentry onto the area. And bingo, we located a high output subterra energy grid in the middle of nowhere. Obviously, no, it's up to no good. Your ace in the hole is an old base we have there. Bring it back online and you can recon the entire area. My advice is to engage the enemy only if necessary. No telling what those maniacs are hiding down there. Good luck, Commander. I'm here if you need me. Okay, a quick little correction. I actually thought this game came out at the beginning of the decade. This game came out in March 2007. That is according to its uh, Wikipedia page. So this game's about 10 years old. It looks fairly, uh, still looks pretty good. And uh, you just noticed uh, Grace Park there uh, before her days on Hawaii 5 -0. North Carolina Badlands. Recent satellite intelligence points to a suspicious level of activity in the North Carolina Badlands. In ops is concerned that the Brotherhood of Nod may be setting up shop there. Their mission is to investigate and report back as soon as possible. An abandoned GDI training facility is located nearby. Use that as your base of operations in the area. This is the prologue. This is going to be a hand-holding mission. I'm going to try to get past it as quick as I can. And we'll get on to chapter one as soon as it's good to go. Greetings, Commander. This is GDI Battle Command, here to get you up to speed on some of the ground operations for this mission. Establishing video uplink. Commander, we need you to locate the old GDI outpost and investigate rumors of a Nod presence in the area. Move! Jennifer Morrison. Incoming transmission. This outpost was abandoned many years ago after its strategic Good to be off normal patrol duty. All right, I'm ready for no. orders, Commander. Settings. I'm going to turn down the master volume just a little bit. It's uh, drowning me out a little. Looking yes, sir, at we'll the, hold uh, the line. levels here. Okay, hopefully that's a little better. Oh, open fire! Looks like Nod is here after all. Eradicate the Nod forces occupying our outpost. Once those forces are evicted, we'll restore okay, the outpost remotely, granting you access. Alright, so you have the little Tiberian fields here. Updated. And hopefully you do remember this game from the 90s. Tiberium this was is the only resource you need to collect. Once you've built a refinery, your harvester will automatically seek it out. Thank Once you, I was explaining. Full or the <clears throat> field is depleted, the harvester will return and begin refining the Tiberium. Okay, yes, thank you for that. If you remember this game from the 90s, this game uh, initially came out in 1995, the first this is game. This mobile construction vehicle. Once it is unpacked, it'll allow you to construct various structures. I'm just going to just talk over this updated. now because the training officer is really starting to bug me. In this game came out in 1995. It was very different from other games and... You know, a lot of people play StarCraft 2, and I think, I think, personally, this game is a predecessor to it. Establishing video uplink. Commander, you will need a bigger force to stop Nod. Select your construction yard or the structure tab on the command bar, then click the barracks icon. Rifle squad. Incoming transmission. Before engaging more Nod forces. I've already done it. Um, I'm going to put it uh, this way. Here. I'm just going to have it right in front of the door. Yes, sir. Updated. New construction options. Training. From a barracks Used to be a way to do it quickly, like five. You can queue up multiple Rifle units. Multiple structures of the same type allow for additional build queues. Intelligence data I'm doing it this way because you can see the map. The map is uh, going to fill in later on. Objective complete. Rifle squad ready. Rifle squad ready. Enemy units ready. And plot armor. <laughs> and I, I lose one of my guys there. Training. Commander, your base is low on power. For additional power, fill the power about that. plant from your production tab. Incoming transmission. To restore your base to full power, build a power plant. In the meantime, you can remove buildings from the power grid to free up more power. This will allow the rest of your base to continue functioning. To do this, click on the lightning bolt button at the top of your command bar, then click on a structure. Only structures that require power can be turned off. You may need to turn off more than one structure in order to meet your power requirements. Well done. 
The green power bar located on the left side of the minimap indicates that your base now has enough power. Incoming transmission. Repair the command post to help restore this GDI base. Repairing. Objective complete. I'm also... Field expanded. I don't need on that, hold. actually. Cancelled. Commander, it seems Nod has noticed us. They're sending a force to destroy our base. Quickly build and deploy a watchtower base defense from the support structure yeah, tab. Yeah, actually a... New bonus objective. Building. Right, right. Reporting in. You know, just, just go... Just go meet them. Construction complete. Unit under attack. Bonus objective complete. Don't let Building. up! Establishing video uplink. Move! All right, Commander. You need to push forward and destroy the Nod outpost guarding four. that bridge. I'm sending reinforcements now. Cannot deploy here. Yes, yeah, I'm just gonna camp on Nod there. presence uh, appears to be minor. Eliminate these dangerous Nod structures. I'm actually gonna camp out their base and just kill these guys as they spawn. Missile squad reinforcements have arrived. I don't New want a missile squad. types available for training at the barracks. One engineers. I think there's actually an on objective. On account of the Nod presence, additional squads of missile soldiers have been requisitioned. Missiles are much more effective against structures than standard GDI rifles. Intelligence data updated. I think there's Missile something that lets you Building. Um, get engineers. You have to like take over the base or something. It's one of the hidden objectives. All right, so this is where your intelligence database comes in. This will fill in throughout the game as well if you if you need more information. If you if you end up picking up this game, I believe this is available on Steam. Construction complete. And I remember how much it costs on Steam. I want to say it's Cannot like fifteen bucks. Police objective complete. Let's have a rally point out there for both of them. They really Listen want me to take out this squad. whole outpost. I, I don't have engineers too. Keep your eyes open. All right, Rifle just squad. Up. Pay attention. Look alive. I think there's an objective that involves taking out both, or capturing these, capturing all this stuff. Squad, move out. But I am going to capture this type of area. So yes, sir. Incoming transmission. Further investigation of the area is needed. I'm going to steal this uh, silo. Engineers have two important functions. First, they can repair structures and bridges. Second, they can capture enemy structures and tech buildings, allowing you full control of these structures. To do this, select your engineer and then right-click on the structure you wish to repair or capture. New bonus objective. Got that. Engineers are not engineers combat units and cannot protect the themselves. Additional head. engineers can be trained at the barracks. New unit types available for training at the barracks. Bonus objective complete. Training. Intelligence data updated. I got your codes. So the first time I did this when I finally combat. got the thing working, I actually ended up on accident destroying everything and this guy's bonus objective. So I'm getting some more units trained up. This guy will also give me a little influx of cash. Rifle squad ready for combat. Rifle Ooh. squad ready. Rifle squad ready for combat. Bridge repaired. I'm gonna get another engineer. Training. I think Objective this guy. Complete. Battlefield expanded. New bonus objective. I got their codes. You gotta go over this here. Way clear. Sell the captured nod structure. Structure sold. Bonus objective complete. That's what I missed out on the first time through. So we got a Tib spike up here. I'll need an Training. engineer for him. I'm gonna need. Training. Some more missile squads take these guys on. I got their codes. And this is what the Nod uh, base looks missile like. If you haven't, you don't combat. remember this game at all. So this is their old, this is the new construction yard for them. I think combat. this is a cloaked uh, harvester. Missile yeah, squad it is a cloaked combat. harvester. Reporting in. Missile squad ready for combat. Okay. Missile squad Launchers ready for ready. combat. Okay, I don't have any more under construction, so we'll do this. Missile squad reporting. Two. Engineer reporting in. Three. Rifle squad. One. Reporting the in. One's here. Reporting the three in. here. The twos. Ready. I'm gonna send them to go say hello to these tanks. I'm gonna focus on the attack buggy here, just because the attack buggy's good. Oh, the raider Bonus buggy. Objective. Everything's ready. Grab it. Yes, sir. Hostiles in go the air. Go say hi. 
Unit under attack. Walk away from that. Send them over! Close in on Establishing the air Those non-vehicles present a problem, Commander. Build an airfield and then some orcas. They are great against ground vehicles and good against structures. However, orcas have limited ammunition and will return to their airfields when they run out. Incoming transmission. Orca reinforcements are set to arrive soon. Hold your ground, soldiers! Have enough. Securing area. Commander. One's right fall back, but the twos move up. Yes, sir. Body march, man! Construction complete. Right. I'm gonna lose power here in just a minute. Cannot deploy new construction options. Building. Building offline. Training. Get some more orcas in play. Incoming transmission. <laughs> Commander, it is imperative that you destroy the Nod base. Unfortunately, something's going to interfere with that. Each landing pad can only sustain one air unit. Each airfield has four landing pads. Once an air unit has expended its ammo supply, it must return to its landing pad. Otherwise, it will crash. Don't be that guy. Squad ready. Yeah, they're gonna be that guy. Unit lost. They're fine. Building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't let up! Stay focused! Use your sights! Keep low! Reporting in. This way, rifle squad! I'm let their militant squad deal with Unit this. under attack. Bonus Orca objective pilot. complete. Moving in on the target. Squad ready. Yeah. This is the militant squad that we got when we sold the power plant earlier on, so I'll let them deal with it. Securing area. Rifleman, move out. Squad ready. You. Yes, sir. Ready for Let's see orders. See if I can uh, accelerate this mission. Close it Unit in. under attack. Rifle squad. There it is. Enemy in range. Shredder turrets. Great anti infantry. Keep your weapon ready. And of course, it has lost both. Of them. Channels open. Orca pilot. Yeah, return to return base. for supplies. This was definitely one of those games that I played quite a bit in college, and even after target. college, I, I played this game quite a bit. Um, the earlier versions of it, obviously, the Red Alert franchise, um, Red Alert 2 and Rose Avenge were among my favorites. Now they have the same sites in play. Establishing video uplink. That Nod base is quite large, Commander. I'm granting you access to the Ion Cannon controls. Use the Ion Cannon to eliminate the base. Fall back. Fall back. Let the tank. Understood. Let it, let Ion Cannon control mode active. Ion Cannon controls online. All right, this will finish the mission Eastern here. Seaboard. Fire when ready. Hey, just put stuff outside the base. Excellent work, Commander. Mission accomplished. Woot. Still earning the money, you get a little tick. Commander. Now, it's clearly planning something, and judging by the size of that force you exposed, it's a major offensive. Now, I've already called for a, an emergency D-9 briefing, but the timing couldn't be worse. All the directors are up in the Philadelphia, that damn energy summit, and I'm God sorry knows... to interrupt, General. I've just been informed. There's been an attack on Goddard Space Center in Maryland. We should be receiving visual data any second. Good Lord. You realize what they've done. Nods has just taken out the entire Northeastern ASAT defense system, all our anti-missile capability. The Philadelphia. Heaven help us. So in Tiberium Dawn, the first mission, 
or the first game that came out in 95, that station didn't exist. They had the Ion Cannon Network, and that game took place in 1995. Tiberian Sun, which came out, uh, I want to say that one came out in the 98-99 time frame, that one did have uh, James Earl Jones as the leading general for GDI. So, amazingly, this video is about 20 minutes long, yet the mission length is only about uh, 1140. This gained a boatload of resources, and I'm wondering... And I am just playing on normal difficulty. It's got easy, normal, hard. I don't know if there's a brutal for it, but we got that. Yay. Alright. What happens if I hit... I think if I hit back, that'll actually end the mission, but this is where... Let's see. I am going to actually uh, put a cut in the video here, and I'm going to keep uh, plugging away on this series. Actually, got to figure out what is next. If I hit done, I think it starts the next mission, but here's where I'm going to end this video. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more of uh, what I think is a really good game that's held the test of time. The graphics haven't deteriorated that much compared to what we're seeing nowadays, but this is a game that I'm going to be playing through. And we've seen some more Command and Conquer show up on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I shall see you all later.